How's everybody doing? I thought I would show what I'm working on today. Uh, this is uh, the prep for my lithium battery and inverter and transfer switch install. So I swapped out the inverter prep wire that they gave that was only 14.2 and I'll show you why in a second. So this is 12.2 Romex that I bought. I looped it in here and we looped it through here. I'll show you what I've done. So here's the main panel. I've removed, uh, I think it's this one. This is not hooked to anything and this one's not hooked to anything. That was the microwave and the other half of the outlets in here. I've installed, this goes to the sub panel. That's a 20 amp breaker that I just put in. And uh, this yellow wire here is the new 12-2 uh, Romex that I installed. So that just goes out there, loops back in here into my sub panel box. And I had to rewire this. So this is the new 20 amp circuit breaker uh, connected to the the new 12-2 Romex. And so this is the main for this panel here. And this is what they had installed. This is for the other uh, half of the outlets. And this is the other half of the outlets. And then this one goes to the microwave. And I've run those down here. And also if you do this, at least on the grand design, uh, this is the 21G. It's probably the same. This is the inverter prep here. There was no inverter. Uh, these two, this half, was not energized, so you have to run this jumper here, and that's a six uh, six gauge copper wire. This is in case this is a there's a wood frame around this, except at the top. So I used a hole saw and then put my clamp on the inside. I know those screws usually go on the outside here for your wire clamp, but there's no room in there to do that, so I had to put it on the inside. This is your 12 volt uh, part of it here, and then there's some uh, bus bars down there, and I'll be tearing into that later this year to do the uh, battery install. But for now, I just wanted to get this prepped, and so the 14.2 Romex that was in here would not because you only are going off this one circuit breaker here, that would not uh, supply all your outlets and the microwave at the same time. So we jumped it up to 20 amp. I think that should be good. Uh, we pretty much just run TVs and charge phones on there. Obviously, if, I, I think even if you're running your microwave, uh, if you run something heavier on there, uh, on your outlets, like say a hair dryer, you're not going to probably be able to do that. And I've run this by a certified electrician, so... I'm pretty confident we're good to go. And uh, I think that's going to be it. This is just a short uh, kind of update. And I'll show this uh, again probably when I do the main install. Now, the the next time I show this, I'm going to have everything. I'm not going to... I just wanted to prep this up. I did the cabinet first. And uh, I wanted to get this done so that I pretty much just have to wire in the transfer switch and inverter and battery. And... Uh, That'll probably take me a whole day to do all that. That'll probably be later this year, but I wanted to show everybody what's back here. And so I'm not an electrician, and so don't do what I do. Make sure you know what you're doing, uh, and uh, we'll show this in a minute. I thought I'd show this little gadget too. This is a circuit checker and it, it gives you, I bought this at Home Depot a long time ago, shows if you got like an open ground or open hot. And so obviously I want to check my outlets, make sure I did this correctly. You get the two lights there, which means it's correct. And uh, initially I bought this a long time ago when we uh, uh, bought our house a long time ago, our first house check the circuits in there believe it or not there were some that weren't right um you can use this on your generator it'll show you that you have an open ground but so that's the two circuits okay so we're all buttoned up here uh, again I'm, I'm just gonna run over this real quick uh so now this gfci which is half of the outlets i think it's the bedroom tv 
and the GFCI uh, outlets, which are on the bathroom and then outside. And I think also right up here, that one outlet. So I removed that. This is just empty. There's nothing hooked up to this. And I removed the microwave. And again, I just bought these, put these in here because they're kind of loose if you don't. Um, so those two are obviously off. They're not even hooked up. So tw the new 20 amp breaker. And then that goes to this sub panel for the inverter. And the new 20 amp, uh, the new 20 amp breaker for the main. And then this is the left side of the camper outlets, which are uh, the left side of the dresser there. And then in the kitchen and clear to the back and also the TV. And then this also controls the bedroom TV outlet. So once I hook the inverter up, I will be able to run all of this stuff on the battery. And Again, so if you're going to do what I just did, you're going to need 12.2 Romex, which is why I had to swap out. The other was 14.2, which isn't going to carry enough of a load. Um, if you're going to run a lot of stuff on your outlets, you're probably going to have to go to even a 10.2 Romex and then 30 amps instead of 20 like I did. So, uh... This will probably be the last video on this until I uh, get the rest of the stuff. Um, all right. Talk to everybody later. Have a good weekend.